Hey, what is going on, party people? Greg Jenkins here from House Monkey Pod. And I wanted to put a cheeky little update that Keep has been working on behind the scenes on your radar. You either have access to this already, or you should see it rolled out soon, like within the next few weeks. Um, but this is one that I have seen a lot of people asking for if they have been trying to use the new email builder, and it is drum roll please, virtual fields. So when you go to add a form to your landing pages, you can, as you always have been able to, add your fields here, including custom fields or create a new custom field. But now you can also add a virtual field. And this is super useful if you need to give people the ability to make a selection and you want to tag them, but you don't necessarily need to store their response. You don't necessarily need to dedicate a custom field to housing that. So when you select virtual field, you can name it. So uh, this is unique to this page. Uh, do you want to subscribe to our newsletter? Something like that. And you can decide what you want your options to look like, whether it is a dropdown that they can select from, a checkbox, toggle yes or no, or a radio option that they can choose between. So this would be yes, uh, definitely. And this would be nope, all good. And then here's what I like most. With each of these options, you can also dedicate tags. So newsletter subscriber, right? If they choose yes, definitely, we want to tag them. And that tag could trigger automation or just add them to a save search that you use when you deploy your next newsletter or blog update or, you know, whatever the thing is that you are adding people to or removing them from. Now, if they say no, I don't personally need any tags to apply. They're going to stay unsubscribed from that. But here is sort of the structure of how that would work. You can click, actually you could add additional options if you wanted a third or a fourth option, depending on the question you are asking. But once you've defined those and applied the appropriate actions, go ahead and click create field and you'll see it adds it right there to your form. Now, if you need to make changes to it, the only way I have found to do that right now is to come back over here. Uh, you can change the label here or you can make it required or you can delete it. So if you make a mistake in the options, I think that the only way to rectify that currently is to delete the field entirely and then add another virtual field taking its place. But there is doesn't seem to be any sort of limit for how many virtual fields you can add. So feel free to build out a survey or any sort of quiz or a preferences center and you can use their selections to apply tags so that you can add people to the appropriate lists or um, suppress them from different searches or reports uh, in whatever way it serves your business. That is it. Super quick update on virtual fields making their way into our new landing page builder. Take care.